Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on Affinity Photo and the Denoise filter. A lovely name that, Denoise filter. So filter and go down to noise and there's the Denoise. There's also, if you go over here to layer, there's a live filter layer there, new live filter layer, and again noise and Denoise is there as well. So you can use it as a non-destructive effect. So let's just quickly run through it. Now I've actually created some noise in the red channel, only in the red channel. This image is, so if I go here to the channels, we can find that in view, studio and channels. If I go there to the red channel, you can see the noise. If I go to the green channel, it's actually quite clear and you can see the original image there. Now, obviously I've put some noise there, but I'm gonna do that later. I'm just gonna go through it now with this. So filters and go to noise and denoise and straight away you've got different settings here you've got luminance and it's split there's three for luminance and there's also two for colors so i'm just pushing now just push it up for the max for that and nothing for the color so you can still see the color there you can see the color noise the color noise hasn't been removed at all because the color contribution is down to virtually zero click apply and now if i apply it again so repeat repeat and you can still see the color noise it's not touching it at all i mean it's slightly smudging the image now and it keeps it reasonably okay i think that's reasonably sharp but if i undo that and now instead of using the the luminance what i'm going to go for is filters and go to noise and denoise now i'm going to set those down you could of course depending on your image depends on the image so I'm just going to set those down to next to nothing. So I'm going to keep that. But the colours, that red, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that. Now you can still see there's some noise there. You can see that's obviously from the luminance. So if I push the luminance up a bit, I don't want a bit too much because you end up getting it sort of smudgy, sort of blurring it too much. I don't want that. Just put it up to a certain point where it's got a slight sort of smeariness to it, but it's not too bad and click apply and you can see you've removed quite a bit of the noise now and of course you can always apply that again repeat noise and you can still it does start to get slightly blurrier though this holds itself quite nicely this black and white there now because i've just gone for red here for the red channel what i'm doing i'm going to do i'm going to go over to channels and i'm going to go to composite red and what i'm going to do i'm just going to go to filters and go noise and denoise and you can see then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to reduce that down. I don't want the luminance to be any contribution from the luminance. I'm just going to go for the colours. So I'm pushing the colours up there and you can see then with set 100%, click apply and I can apply it. It doesn't change particularly. Very subtle, very subtle change. So you can repeat that. Now, near enough looks like my original image. And again, I can go back, click there and you can see the red noise has been removed. Now I added the red noise. Obviously I, the image was like this, just went into the red channel and added some noise to it a couple of times. And then now I can remove it using the denoise. It does work. Obviously it's gonna, it's gonna be slight smudging, but it's still, at the end of the day, it's reduced this down very nicely to a reasonably clear picture. Now what you can also do, of course you can use selection. So that you decide, now I'm just gonna go back now I'm just going to go back there, make certain I'm in the right all in thing. I'm going to remove that now. Don't want that. So I'm going to go over here and again, go to selections. So I can just go here freehand. Let's just use freehand because I'm just going to select this. I'm just going to select a part of it. Don't want to use, you can use the effect just to apply just, just to that. So maybe the rest of the image is fairly clear and you don't want any additional sort of modification to it. But you just want to remove the noise from a particular place. So obviously create a quick, obviously very rough selection go to filters and distort distort noise and denoise does help do the right one and you can of course if you push the luminance up and there and push that you can see it blurs it pretty badly actually it's not it starts to get very smudged and quite different from the image so it really stands out and i don't want that so, but I want to get rid of the color the noise there i'm just going to be a bit rough still there but it's obviously I don't want this is going to be untouched. Okay, I would prefer to get rid of that noise, but I'm just doing it for the lips. Now what I can do, set to 100%, 100%, click apply. And of course I can do filters, repeat noise, 
And again, it doesn't particularly make it too blurry. And you can always then go to that, apply it, because it's obviously made it slightly duller. You can go and apply various filters, maybe to make it slightly redder again, if that's what you want. So what you can also do, and I'm just going to undo that, there's also a layer, and go down to a new live filter layer, and noise and denoise. And now you've got the filter here. And that's really quite nice. And again, you can do exactly the same. So if you want to, colors, push it up, that, push it up, that, push it down, luminance, contribution, and you can see you get exactly the same thing. So just, you can still see the noise, but it's obviously the, the grayscale noise in the image. The color has been removed. The color's been fairly clear. It's, it's very subtle, if there is. And what also you've got, of course, with the live, is that you've got opacity. So you can always just turn it around, just reduce it down. So you can see you can you know, get the, the red again, if you want that, of course. And also what you can do, you can go here, darken, multiply, linear burn, and you can create some very interesting co color combinations using different blending modes there. So it's just gonna go a darker, and, and you can see difference there. It's, the difference is quite good, because you can see now the difference, you can see the noise, the color color noise there you can just see it obviously probably very hard on the screen but you can see very fine sprinkling of sort of red dust all over that and also if you want to you can turn around and say luminance let's push that up and you can see not hardly any difference at all so let's just reduce that down and that you can see then if I push that up all the way there it's hardly with difference anything changed at all so it's this is luminance there. So the colour is the key thing there, and you can see the effect just doing that with the, the red there. Now I'm not going to go with exclusion. Now let's go back to normal or darken. I mean, I always love this one, linear burn. That's always quite nice. And of course, once you've done that, what you can do, you can always flatten the image. You can just go to layer, merge visible, and it's all merged into one, and I can remove that image. And of course, you can always still go to filters. Now this is a destructive effect. As soon as you do filters, noise and denoise you've got a destructive effect there again you could use that if you want but it's great for smudging effect so i'm just gonna now i'm not gonna particularly do much there but you can apply it a couple of times so filters repeat repeat and of course you could do exactly the same with layers you could apply multiple ones on top but you can apply it. it it's still reasonably okay but you can see it it actually I was reading the help and it said it sort of a posterization effect. Well, maybe. It certainly becomes sort of uh, flatter the way everything's going. It's becoming quite a plastic sort of skin there. <laughs> Very unusual effect. Now, not every picture, I must admit, works brilliantly with this. I've actually got a couple. I've got other one here, just got uh, effect here. And it does smudge it a bit, but it, there's not that even though it's not the world's best picture, I have to say, it was taken on a very, very dull day. But at the same time, applying the filter, really hardly any effect to it at all. It's very subtle difference. And if you do a, again, if you do a the layer and then use difference, you can hardly see any change at all. Even when you set it to the max, just like literally nothing on there. So it's, uh, so, but say so you can use it for a sort of an unusual effect there. And of course, what you can do, you can always combine that with, the, if you've created a snapshot, you've staved snapshot from that, you can then, of course, compare. And also what you can do, you can always use, if you want to create this sort of effect, this sort of unusual effect, what you can do, you can always go, of course, to view, studio, and macro. So with macro, you can save your applications of the effect. So you can go click there, and then you can go to filters, and noise, and denoise. Again, set those down, so it's very subtle. Whatever, you can change all those or set those down. Okay, it's, at this point, it's virtually very subtle. And you can, of course, apply it a couple of times, and it's all stored away in there. Let's apply it five or six times very quickly. And then, of course, you've got it saved. And then, of course, you can always run it. So you can just play it again and again. Now, you can see as you do this, it does Hmm. becomes quite surreal, sort of unusual. Again, that, the frame is really, the black and white there is really holding the colour. And the actual 
see it very well. Whereas obviously this, the colour here for the, uh, the lips and everything, has just become quite unusual. Oops, oops, <laughs> it suddenly went a bit wrong there. Anyway, for it suddenly start the image suddenly goes completely. Dim. But you can get a very unusual looking effect with the denoise. And again, I love that the, uh, the glasses are still pretty sharp. It's quite amazing. But you can still obviously make the, the edge around here as well. It's certainly still quite clear, but it's smudged all of this colour. So it does create a very unusual... Hmm. Anyway, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer, and many other applications. Also, if you've got any questions, comments, always great to know. There's always uh, things that maybe obviously uh, give your opinions about the denoise filter. Maybe different images work better. I don't know. Maybe I should have chosen a different image. It's always the thing with this. Also, dislike or like. Always appreciated either way. Thank you much.